Today, I will introduce the spiritual message of Canon Bodhisattva. This message is about an important meeting in the heavenly realms, and it's very intriguing, so please listen until the end. In the higher realms today, a very important meeting is taking place. The subject of this meeting is determining who will be nurtured and who will be allowed to flourish in the times to come. We observe the thoughts and intentions of each individual on earth, examining the nature of each person's mind and spirit. We assess whether each individual's thoughts align with what would be considered passing or failing in this lifetime. However, we do not convey the results for each person individually. Nevertheless, this meeting has already begun in the heavenly realms, and decisions are being made regarding each person's standing. Souls that descend to earth and complete their earthly missions return to the realms to which they each belong. I, too, am among those souls who have returned in this way. Each soul, upon their return, reconnects with the world where they belong, and from there, they observe and look after the inner thoughts of souls on earth in accordance with each person's level of spiritual development. Detailed evaluations and scores are assigned based on each person's progression. Those living on earth are generally unaware of these evaluations and live as they choose according to their own desires. Even if they knew about this process and attempted to adjust their actions accordingly, it would not affect their score, as their soul's essence is already visible beyond their actions and words in the three-dimensional world. Have you ever wondered to which realm your soul's overseers belong? I believe most people have not thought about this. Yet, each soul on earth is watched over by a specific heavenly being assigned to their care. The Supreme God, the root of the great universe, sees all people without division. However, as we descend to the lower levels, responsibility is delegated, and souls are observed in groups. The guardian spirits closest to those in the three-dimensional world are thus assigned to oversee individuals. The reason I am sharing this message with you today is to offer a small hint, encouraging you to prepare yourselves mentally. Please remember that no matter how you live your life, when you return to this world, your actions will be evaluated with complete accuracy. I wanted to share that there are beings who observe precisely what kind of heart and intentions you hold as you live your life. One day, you too will return to this world and become someone who observes the people on earth, just as others do now. Consider for a moment. What level of souls will you be assigned to observe and guide when you return to the heavenly realms? Imagining this might allow you to see the world in a new way. This is what I wanted to share with you today. Thank you. Thank you very much. Eventually, everyone will return to the spirit world with exact assessments already determined in the heavenly realms. No matter how much one may try to deceive or rationalize with personal explanations, the judgment will remain perfectly precise and unchanging. This means that while we are here on earth, the only path is to strive to refine our hearts, even if just a little. It seems, then, that the world we return to in the heavenly realms will reflect where our true intentions lie. I understand. I have also heard that many people will be leaving this earth soon. I feel that this message about scores relates to that as well. I will take this to heart deeply. Thank you very much. Ms. Elena, when you talk about these things, it feels like the time is drawing near. 
Even if I were to evaluate your score, it wouldn't hold any weight. Likewise, even if you evaluated mine, it wouldn't change anything. No matter how brilliantly I try to justify myself and give myself a perfect score, it won't work. Everything is known. If I try to blame everything on others, my score would plummet drastically, right? This accurate scoring shows that we are being observed with true fairness. I think it means that the heavenly realms are absolutely impartial, with rules that never waver, not even by a millimeter. No matter how time passes, or eras shift on earth, these rules remain unchanged. Each soul's guardian or assigned overseer observes them in this way. Everything is fully visible in the spirit world through one's guardian spirit, so there's no hiding. Everything is completely exposed. It's pointless to try to hide or deceive. Even if I say, I'm cutting the grass to help others, but my real intent is to increase my score, it won't matter. It all comes down to the state of one's heart. For instance, if someone thinks, I've done so much wrong, so I'll make a donation to balance it out, hoping to cancel out my mistakes. It wouldn't count if that's the motivation. It's only if one genuinely wishes to contribute to society. It's like being observed through a fine mesh, meticulously examined. It doesn't matter what worldly excuses one might come up with. They hold no weight in the heavenly realms. While we're in the three-dimensional world, we're embodied. But when we return to the spirit world and are sifted through this fine mesh, all impurities are exposed. However, if there's even a small gleam, like a tiny speck of gold, it would make a big difference. And so, everyone is being scored in the heavenly realms. For those with lower scores, what might happen? Will they be taken up early, or told to? Keep trying on earth a bit longer. I think we'll find out as time goes on. With that, I'd like to conclude for today. Thank you very much. How did you feel after watching the video? Being scored feels a bit like school, doesn't it? Indeed, being born into this three-dimensional world means we are here to learn for the growth of our souls, making life something like a school. However, unlike school grades, this evaluation spans decades. It's not something that can be managed with last-minute cramming. And, unlike school studies, it's not enough just to read, understand, and memorize a textbook. It's about gaining various experiences and examining the state of mind and heart we have lived with. Now, do you feel confident you'd pass? If you found this video and watched it all the way to this point, I'd say you're likely scoring well. But if anyone feels unsure or would like to improve their score, I'd like to say to them, it's still okay. There is still time. Since the final evaluation is made when we return to the heavenly realms, you can live the rest of your life with Canon Bodhisattva's words in your heart. If you keep striving to be mindful, there's no need to worry. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Please stay tuned for the next video.